Okay, Rob back here. Got the Canadian 505 stove. Had an issue with uh, a small leak. It was leaking under that burner bowl. And as it would combust, it would pop. It didn't hurt anything, but it was just annoying. And uh, I talked to several other people, and, and other people were having the same problem. Had one guy suggested that he fixed it by sanding the bottom of the burner bowl where it set flush. But that had nothing to do with it. I mean, it shouldn't have been leaking under there in the first place. I mean, I took it apart and I could see where it was leaking. It should not have been leaking there. Let me get this turned off and let it cool down. I'll take it apart and I'll show you. It's a simple fix. Got it burning on a really low simmer right now. There's no issues. Crank it all the way up. Still no leaks. Um, hey, I'm tickled. This is a good running stove now. I mean, it's a real stove. The fix was simple. But like I said, let me turn this off. Let this thing cool down. And um, I'll take it apart and I'll show you what the fix was. Okay, this thing's still a little warm, but I think it's cool enough I can handle it. Um, we're going to start by removing the two screws on this backer plate for the generator. This holds the generator down. And this was one of the issues, I think. I'll show you what I've done on this. On this right here, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or not, but I just took and pinched this with a pair of vice grips, and I bent this back a little bit. As you can see, it's a little bit of an angle there. Before, it was bent out the other direction, and it wasn't allowing that generator, it wasn't pushing the generator valve assembly all the way back far enough. So that was the main issue of uh, fixing this and um, I mean it's a very simple fix and we're going to use a 7 16 wrench loosen it better release our pressure okay we're going to loosen the uh, generator nut on this side you take these apart. Don't don't stretch that generator no more than you have to. Just keep wiggling it. Because that was the other problem. When you, a lot of people take these apart and I've done it myself. Spread that generator out to make it come out of there easy. And when you do that, you put it back on. It doesn't sit in there. It leaves a little play in the, in the hole here. So... Before you put it back on, just kind of push that in just a little bit, put a little pressure on it. You want everything as snug as possible. There's a burner plate will just set off. Take out the two little uh, side screws, one on each side. Remove the top screw of that whole inside burner bowl. We'll just set off our one more screw here. Now 
now that should just pull out. You can look under here, you can see the black where that gas would build up in there and it, it would combust. And you can see on the back of this plate, the black here, but there was the leak where it would come out right here where that generator wasn't sitting in here far enough. It would set back loose like that. It needs to go all the way in for the gas to travel properly. So, uh, so there, there was a leak. So the fix was tightening this generator up, pushing it. You want it as uh, snug as possible. Because if you got if you got it spread out, it's, it's it'll leave play like that, and you don't want that play. So between. Um, Bending these tabs to where to push that back farther and keeping that generator bent to where everything's as snug as you can get it. I mean, you have to spread it a little bit to get it on and off of the burner, but uh, you want it as tight as possible, and that will fix the leaking under the, under the burner bowl. Okay, now let's uh, put this back together, see if it still holds true. Make sure you line up the hole in the burner bowl with the hole in the frame there. Pull it till all of your screw holes line up. They kind of almost snap in there. I guess it matters what order we put these back in. I put that about halfway. I didn't snug it down yet. I like to get the other side in before before I tighten it down. Make sure everything lines up properly. Pop one back in. Use this flat screwdriver on that. That's got one of the uh, funky Canadian screws on it. It's best for me to use a flat because I don't have one that actually fits it. But I can go ahead and crank that down all the way. Now this side over here has got Phillips, and it probably would have had the same screws on the other side, but when I got the stove, they were missing. So I had to make my own, and I went ahead and used the Phillips head screws that we use here in America. We can set our burner assembly back in. you can get them before you tighten it down. Top plate back on. Here's what I was talking about. This is a tight fit. You got the notch, notch in the burner plate. This generator has to sit down in there. doesn't leave you a lot of room to get that generator in here. Make sure your nuts on the other side over there. But anyway, just keep working it. Make 
try to squeeze that generator in there the best that I can. I want that as tight as possible. Let me pull that back out of there. Try to tighten that a little more. Bend that in just a little bit. Finger tighten down the generator nut. Make sure your uh, generator is sitting flush against the flare fitting there. Now we can go ahead and crank it down. Like I said, I bent these tabs out where it put more pressure. See, that's got a little play. I mean, the screws will force that down now. Before, it just sat down on there flush, and it didn't hold a lot of pressure on the generator. But now that I bent them tabs as you tighten them screws, it will pull the generator assembly in there flush. Stab myself with this screwdriver. And those will be easier to tighten down if you had the proper tool, but I, I don't have one of the Canadian screwdrivers. Yeah, I think as tight as we're going to get it. Good burn, or we got a leak again. Like I said, the main thing, bend that generator in, get it as tight as possible when you put it in there, and then bend them tabs. Reheat that generator. Get the valve halfway. Cold nature, she'll settle down here in a second. That burn, and we'll crack that valve all the way open. Warms up a little bit. There you go. The warmer that generator gets, the better it'll run. It's pretty much burning wide open there. Okay. Look how low you can get that thing to go down there. Man, before on a simmer like that on, on the low setting that gas would just leak up under that burner bowl and it would just pop and uh, like I said it's more annoying than anything I mean it didn't hurt anything I mean it would just combust slow enough leak you don't have to worry about nothing blowing up it, it would once it would build up enough gas under that plate had that little rim and then the gas would leak out from under that rim and it, it would combust but hey, that was a fix, simple fix. Okay. I'm glad I'm tickled that I got that fixed. And I got a couple other people I got to send this video to and let them know I found the solution. They were having the same issue. And uh, there we go. Okay, y'all know the routine.
like, share, subscribe. God bless.